public health and sanitation were unknown concepts in this world at that time. The smells are gross. I mean, it's, it's rotting carcass, it's blood work, it's urine work, it's, it's viciously smelly, and nobody has a thought that somehow that's wrong. That shouldn't be part of the ambience of a human community. Um, children play in the same muck on the street that, uh, that adults walk in. Nobody thinks that's necessarily bad for kids. Pigs walk, and pigs attack children, dogs attack children. There isn't a protective cocoon around anyone by age, by class, um, at all. We have a notion nowadays that most people should come to the end of their working lives reasonably intact physically. And if they don't, it's somehow unfortunate or it's somebody's fault. 18th century work life had no such illusions. Work and life tended to use you up. Pollute the air, poison the water, break your bones, cost you fingers, bend your back, gnarl your hands, cost you hair, poke out your eyes. That's what happened. That's what it was to be an adult in the 18th century, a working adult.